Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be checking out the Fifine K690 studio quality microphone that has a lot of features and could be great for things like podcasting and streaming. So in this video we're going to unbox it, check out all the features and do some sound tests. Alright, so let's get started. All right, so this is the box that the microphone comes in, and we can see there's a picture here of what it looks like, some branding. On the back here, we do have some useful information. So here we have all the functions on the microphone. We got a gain knob, a pattern switcher, a mute button, and headphone volume controls. Down here, we can see we got four different kinds of patterns. We got cardio, omnidirectional, bidirectional, and stereo pickup, and we're gonna check all of those out. So this mic also uses large diaphragm capsules for a more fuller sound, and we have excellent sound quality with a wide frequency response. We got a lot more information here, system requirements, technical specs, the weight and size, and what's included in the box. All right, so let's open this thing up. So there's a sleeve, and the top should just come right off. And then look at that. I like the color that they're using here. Very nice presentation. So this is what we see on top. We've got a little user's guide here. It tells us everything about the mic and how to use it, and what all the different patterns are and the applications of them. And kind of gives you tips on using it and also how to mount it to a boom arm. And also some tips on how to get it working with the computer. And by the way guys, the other side is also full of information, so yeah. We got a little thank you card and how to reach the company. All right, so we got some soft foam here. That's actually nicely cut out. And here we can see the mic and how it's nestled in there very nicely, very well protected. It looks like there's a box here. Let's go ahead and pull it out. So that looks like our USB cable to connect from the microphone to the computer. And it is quite long at almost 10 feet. It also comes with a little Velcro strap to keep things organized. So there's also a mount bracket, which has a little adapter on it, and this is used to connect it to like a boom arm. So let's go ahead and pull the mic out. So that appears to be everything for the box. All right, so the mic itself got a really nice weight to it. So we do have a pretty heavy duty stand here and it does have some nice quality rubber feet. But yeah, the stand is very heavy and it's not something, you know, that'll just easily be knocked over. So the mic itself is all metal. The knobs are plastic. This part here is metal also. And then on the bottom, we just have a cover, looks like a plastic one, with a headphone output and a USB output. And by the way, this bracket that comes with it screws under here. And then you can disconnect this piece here completely and mount it to a boom arm. So yeah, you do have that option if you wanted it. So let's take this out for now. All right, so let's take a closer look at the controls here. So on the top, we have the logo. We've got a little light here, and that's gonna indicate the mute and power on. So below that, we have a mute switch so you can mute the mic. And then going down here, we have controls for the headphones. So you can plug in headphones to this thing on the bottom of it here and monitor how you sound. So if you're wearing like a headset, let's say you're gaming, you can hear how you sound and you can actually, you know, control the volume here to the headset. And so this would be looking at the front of it. So this is what you would see looking at it. Now flipping it around, going to the back. Here we see mic again. So this is going to be outputting the signal coming from here to the computer. So more or less. And you're going to have to adjust this, you know, depending on how close you are and how well your signal is being received. And below that, these are our four different patterns that we can choose from. And there's a little image for each type. So the first one there is stereo, so it's going to pick up two different channels. Then the circle is omnidirectional, which is going to pick up all around the mic. The third one is choroidal, and that's going to mostly concentrate on the front. And then the last one is bidirectional, which is going to be the front and the back and not so much the sides. All right, so let's go ahead and connect our cable. And this thing is quite long, guys. And not only that, it's a really nice, high quality, pretty thick cable. So it does plug in here on the bottom and it's a micro USB plug. So it does kind of stick down, which is not a big deal technically. And also a little bit flimsy, unfortunately, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So if you are gonna move your mic around a lot by pulling on the cable, that might be an issue, but 
you know, if you're mostly sitting around, should be just fine. So the other end has a little cover that is just a USB type A, which plugs into basically any computer. And speaking of computers, this mic should work with any operating system like Windows, Mac, and others, because it is a plug and play. So there's no drivers to install or anything needed more than just plugging this in. All right, so, so we're gonna be using this new M1 MacBook Air. So since this computer only has USB-C, I do have a dongle to normal USB-A. Let's go ahead and open it, plug in the USB. And as I plugged it in, you guys saw that the green light came on. So this indicates that it has power and it's ready to go. Now, before we do anything, we need to go to our system preferences and then sounds, turn the brightness down a bit. And I don't know if you guys can see or not, but right now we're on the MacBook Air microphone. And then here we see below that the Fifine K690. So it is plug and play and it's just automatically pulling it up. I'm gonna choose that. And now the computer is getting the signal from the microphone. Let's see if we mute it. Okay, so yeah, nothing's happening. And by the way, when we do mute it, it turns red. And now it's back to normal. So let's go ahead and close that up. And let's open up, I guess, voice memos. All right, so let's try to push this record button and see what happens. So it looks like it's recording now. And yeah, it's picking up this mic. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the audio to this mic so we can hear what that sounds like. So I think right now, yeah, right now it's in stereo mode. It should be on, I guess, the different channels. The intensity on the back here to be louder or quieter, so. So I'm just gonna leave it about halfway for now. So this is what stereo sounds like, and I think stereo might be good for, you know, maybe instruments or things like that. So let's go to the next one, which is omnidirectional. I'm gonna switch it. All right, so now we are in omnidirectional. And by the way, I've been about a foot and a half or so from the mic. For omni, we should be able to pick up the same kind of sound all around the mic, no matter where we turn it. And that's probably what's happening. So this is omni mode and could be useful for, you know, if you have multiple people around the mic and you know, you want them to pick up everybody, this would be the mode for that. All right, so let's go to the next mode, which looks like is the accordion door. We'll go to that one. Now that one should be only picking up from the front here. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can hear it, but this is what it sounds like. I'm gonna point it towards my way a little bit. So this is very good for, you know, more of intimate straight to the microphone talk. Now if we go to the side of it, we should be able to hear a lot less. And then when we go completely to the back, it should be pretty much, you know, not very much. It's mostly picking up straight from the front. It's more dynamic and, you know, more fuller. So, so for solo voice talking, this is the best option here. And for the last one is a dual zone, which is the front and the back. So if you have like a person sitting across you, you can switch to that. And so the microphone is gonna pick up in the front and the back. So right now I'm talking to the front of it, to the side of it. So the side is, should not be too much. And then going to the back of it should be the same about as it was in the front. So this is good for two people sitting across each other talking into one mic. And if you guys notice, every time I touch it or move it around, it does, you know, translate. So that's one thing to consider is, you know, try not to touch it much when it is in use. I just want to talk really close. So I'm about four inches away from it. So this is what it sounds like four inches away. So now I'm about six inches away. And now I'm about a foot away. So this is what it sounds like. Now I'm about a foot and a half away. And now I'm about two feet away. So I'm guessing you probably want to stay within about six to eight inches, something like that up to a foot maximum. Now we can gain the mic some more, so let's go ahead and run that up pretty high. So I got it about 80% or so on the gain, and I'm about a foot away right now, so I'm wondering how well that sounds with the gain. And now I'm about two feet away, so maybe it's okay if, as long as you, you know, do the gain. So I'm gonna put the gain up all the way, almost two feet away from it, so I'm wondering how well it sounds, and if it's not noisy or distorted. So if you're sitting a little bit farther from the mic, it might be worth to turn up the gain. But you're gonna have to be really careful because once I get closer and closer to it, it might be a little bit too much and overpowering, but we'll have to hear and see what it sounds like. 
All right, so I got a chance to listen to what I just recorded and I was quite pleasantly surprised how well it did with the sound control because once I even gained it up pretty high there, you guys heard that it was picking me up pretty far away with good quality, but then when I got close to it, it was still able to control the loudness without going into peaking. So yeah, it looks like it's pretty smart and does a great job even with the higher gains. Now, if I want to pick at something in here, I wish that the control knobs here on the back were somewhere on the side or the front or maybe maybe put them all in the front because you know moving this thing around constantly looking at what mode you're in and the gain technically once you set it up you won't have to do that but it would have been nice if there were up front somewhere or something a little bit more accessible but that's not something too big of a deal I think if you're going to use like a headset the gain for that up front here could be very useful so overall I think this is a great mic especially for gaming and podcasting the quality of the voice seems very clean and pretty full and this being more of an entry level studio quality mic as far as the sound goes it does an excellent job for the price and not only that with all the options it has you do have a lot of versatility with the four different modes and plus this really cool mute button right here in front of you so once you want to you know mute you can really easily and there's a nice indicator showing you that and this being plug and play no drivers required it's really easy to use and can be plugged in pretty much anywhere all right guys so if you want to pick one up for yourself i'm going to have some links in the description check it out and if you enjoyed this video then hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this and other things i do on this channel then stay tuned and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace